I really like to incorporate media projects such as videos and narrated digital presentations in my instruction. However, these projects can take a lot of time, and if you have students present them in front of the class, it can take forever to get through all of the presentations. Plus, audience members tend to tune out after about the fourth or fifth video project about the same topic. Schoology's Media Album Tool was just the solution I was looking for to provide my students a showcase and audience for their hard work without losing numerous instructional days to student presentations. To create a media album, go into one of your Schoology folders and choose Add Materials. Select Add Media Album. Title the album and add in a description if you choose. I typically stick with the defaults for these advanced options. The first controls whether or not students can see the media album, and this will default to the same visibility you've chosen for the folder the album is located in. This allows students to make comments on the media uploads, which I want, but you can turn it off. If this icon is active, it means students can upload to this media album. Again, I want that, but you could limit it to only having the teacher upload media that students can then comment on. And this icon lets you copy the album to your other classes. Choose Create and you'll immediately be prompted to upload some media. I'm going to click Cancel because I want my students to be the uploaders of the media. But if I go back to my folder outline view, you can see my media album has been created. Let me show you how this looks from a student's view. The student locates the media album, which is noted by this icon. When opened, typically icons for all of the videos or pictures appear here. Most of these videos were added to this album over a year ago, so that's probably why their icons aren't showing up right now. The new media I added today is showing its thumbnail icon. To add media, the student chooses the Add Media button and selects Attach Files. There is a 512 megabyte per file limit, and the student simply needs to browse to the location of their file and upload it. To view each other's media, a student simply hovers over the thumbnail of the item that is usually here. The contributor of that media is noted, and the student can click on the thumbnail to view the item. If it's a video, the student can watch the video right here. So instead of taking numerous days for students to present their videos, and instead of losing valuable class minutes as they log in, wait for their computer to configure their account, and finally play their item, I can check out a card of Chromebooks or mobile devices, and I can assign each of my students to view two or three presentations posted by their classmates. Because I allowed students to leave comments, they can add their feedback right here. So we can cut the time needed for this showcasing of their projects to part of one class period instead of days and days. Teachers can delete any items added to the media album, and students can delete only the items they have added to the album. From my teacher view, I can reorder media, or I can choose the gear icon and select edit media to delete numerous items at once, or add captions if I like. So that's how to create and use media albums, a wonderful tool for giving students a nice forum to share their digital projects while streamlining that sharing process.